Girl, what the fuck? He's not even a Columbia artist. He's from Winsboro, South Carolina, baby. Get it right. You see how you knew what I was talking about? Mm, I ain't gonna you said lie. Columbia artist. Like, what the fuck do you mean by that? He just pulled a Naja move. Man. He pulled. <laughs> what the fuck you say? Like, why are you even writing this energy up in 2024? He pulled a Naja move. What you mean? What mm. you mean? We in the second half of 2024. You don't say no shit like well, we, that. Well, we in the second half, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> we in fourth quarter. <laughs> it, is, it is the eighth month. Mm. Mm. Why is true. we. Mm hmm. Still worried about old man. shit, man. Right? <laughs> Tight shit. You are. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> what the fuck is okay. going on around here? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Tell them, we got to, it's a new year. You got to release it. You got to release that old shit. It's been released, so that's why I'm confused yeah. as to why he said mm-hmm. some shit like that. You know he and messy. I like the, I like the you, you know he messy as fuck. Now, let me tell y'all something. I, epiphany I had today, right? Ooh, Epiphany. So I went, I, okay, I went and was chopping it up on my, on my pops, right? You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He juiced me about the family the family gathering, the info, the back. You know, when you get old enough, you feel what I'm saying? I'm right. like, damn. And then mm. I realized, I'm my daddy's son. Right. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, type shit. I'll be a little messy every now and then. Oh, so pops, me- I mean, you so know, you get it from your father. Messy. That's what I'm. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. And mm-hmm. then my mom. So it was just like it's just honest. You got it honestly. Type just tell her you miss your grandma. That's it. I miss my grandma. That's the more like <laughs> I love that. I be trying I to drink, but then I be like, damn. Mm-hmm. Them folks I graduated with in, in fifth grade, where mm-hmm. they at? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We Doing cracker in jail. I seen. I ain't gonna lie. I seen one on the mugshot page. I said, "Well, girl, this is your second time I done seen." Girl, you. see, see, I'm telling you now. Mm-hmm. 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 But you made it out. Amen. You made it. I won. I'm not gonna be a statistic. Yeah. Mm. You know, Brandon, them ain't going for that. Not going. Mister, ain't going. You got that. Ain't going. They ain't got to worry about me. They ain't going. No, yeah. I'm of you. Yeah, they ain't going. Mm-mm. I'm scared of you. You scared? I'm scared too. I ain't got time. Why are you scared? I'm you think you gonna be a little cupcake? I ain't gonna. I mean, they gonna eat me up. So I just know I'm gonna get my ass beat left and right because I'm not going. I'm not going. <laughs> As you should. I'm not going. You gotta stand on business. I'm no scrabbling how every day. Be- I'm scrabbling every day. Whole every day. I don't care. Y'all not taking me. Mm-hmm. I don't want it. <laughs> Bald head bullies like the dad of my wife and kids. <laughs> and just like that, we back with a whole nother episode. Mm. It's been a minute since we've been making it's the building. It has. It has. We've been putting a lot of other shit in motion. Trying to. Trying to. You feel me? Looking for new talent. But we back on the mainstream. On the main. The biggest. The bigger the big. You feel me? And don't forget the mother. Don't forget the realest. Tell you feel them. what I'm saying? Tell them. Money making. I got my dog over here in the cut over here. Uh. The biggest. Shining like she's shining. Ooh, I got my. Mari. I got my boy right here beside me. Huh? Living like he living. You Let feel him have huh. it. Thugging how he thugging. Uh. Huh. And who, it's the who one of one. Huh? Huh? Uno. Uno. Huh? Huh? Top two and not the two. Mm. Oh. Oh. Come oh, on now. I think Come they really on. forgot for real. They forgot. They really forgot for real. Because we were doing other areas. Right. And, you know, we got other talents and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And they forgetting that this the main shit. Mm-hmm. You know, this the biggest shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So this like, is the original. The original. <laughs> Top five and we the first one, two, okay. three. Oh, mm. my goodness gracious. Oh, whatever. Chief. And y'all heard this shit here today <laughs> first. Okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Happy birthday, Chief Keith, man. It's crazy. He's only 29. You talking about Chief Keith? We need to be talking about Thug. We need to be talking about Thug. We need to be talking about Thug. It was just Thug's birthday. It was just Thug's birthday. It was just Thug's birthday. Like yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, like two days ago. Two days ago. Two days ago. When was Chief Keith's birthday? I don't recall that one. About three days ago. Yeah, and his son KK bought him a billboard in Chicago mm-hmm. and, and, and uh, put put that shit on the billboard. Yeah. Well, happy and birthday, you seen, the Leos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you seen sexy in the video with the feet. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we ain't talking about her right Tight now. Shit. Free Tight thug, shit. though. Free, free thug. thug. Free thug. Free thug, though. It's a lot of Please, shit going on. Still, New to judge. this day. <sighs> Mr. We've been doing this for about three, four years talking about this month, this case. He like, been in jail for two years. This is what, third year? This is second or third year in jail, ain't it? I can't do nothing but pray. I feel as though this is a huge miscarriage of justice mm. and everybody involved needs to be apprehended mm. for what they have done. Mm. Mm. So since we, we it, so since we talking about justice, right. okay, right. let's talk about um, the situation that transpired between Scott Jackson and her boyfriend. Her boyfriend. Right, right, right. right. 
Um, how do you feel? Because she I, beat the charges. She, she, she beat the charges. I called Jesse and she, hey, she handled that shit. She handled it. Ah, she, okay, so it really she makes sense. Like and it was funny because Jesse ain't raising kids like that. Right. So what? Do y'all know the backstory? Do y'all know the backstory of, of of what the fuck um, was going on? So from what I heard or remember reading was her and her boyfriend was at some type of Disney park, and they what were the, she was caught on camera like just pushing him like it was some type of altercation. And when security and police came to confront them, no, she they both no. said no. They both said like we good, yeah, da 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 da. But because of what they seen on the the footage, oh they she took, popped they it. They took her oh, away. Oh she popped it, huh? But, um, the but all they mean? said was she was pushing, and you know Scott's about smaller than me, so it's like yeah. that man is like six foot. Yeah. So it's like yeah. it be the smaller one. He mixed. He well, YT. I know he real light skin. Yeah, he's he like very, one of them very YT. Yeah, like, very YT. He look like that one for real. <laughs> <laughs> very, YT. He's very YT. Very. <laughs> Demir. <laughs> <laughs> He stood up for his girl. She didn't yeah. do nothing. Facts. She's innocent. Uh-huh. He's very stand up. Very demure. Very stand up. Yeah. Very, <laughs> very demure. Yeah. So, so I, I wonder what know. he did. To be honest, I don't know what mm-hmm. happened. Obviously, I feel as though if it was just pushing and everybody said it was okay, then right. they should have just left the girl alone. They forced the girl to say she was engaged and, and married. I mean, engaged and pregnant. I don't too much believe all of that. I feel as though she just said that so they wouldn't carry her ass away and they did it anyway. I but did. she might be. And Sky about Sky our age. So I mean, she yeah. rich. She do what she you want to do, baby. girl. With that man. But you gotta be you careful. Gotta you gotta be careful. You gotta be. It careful. don't matter how much money you got as a celebrity. If if you are in, uh, a darker skin tone, right. mm, more on the melanin side right. type shit. If you was born at nighttime, <laughs> right. You gotta be careful. Type shit. Right. You seen what happened shit. with Jonathan? Man. You just gotta be careful. You seen what happened. You feel what you I'm saying? It. They you feel were just you trying feel to me. find a reason to take Come her on. away because child boo, but at the same time, she shouldn't have been showing out like that in the so mean part. And then right. you in front of the kid. That's cheering. It's cheering yeah, I do. Right. It's did cheering I do. We, we still talking about a little push and but Bad Bunny honest. done got beat on video and they just stopped talking about it. Yeah, to be but, honest. But she took that man back though. She did. That's her fault. That's her fault. I think Sky might be the problem though. My, I'm going to tell y'all some real shit. I'm tired of me, yes, but I know because you a woman, so I know it gets tired around like taking up for women who get in altercations and then they still turn back around and go back with that same motherfucker. Yeah, like it's aggravating. Damn, I don't give a fuck about. It. Mm. Mm. No, 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 say that. No, 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 say that. You better say it like that. Go I ahead. I didn't mean to say it like that, but it's like, it's hard. It's hard to continue to sympathize and empathize right. and feel for anybody who, you feel me? Right, right. Even though people who be in that situation be like, y'all don't understand what it's like, da da da. But me personally, I can't say too much. Who wants but to understand what it's like getting beat on? Me personally, though, if um if somebody like real life like putting their hands on me, like we box, right. like we don't know each other type of thing. WWE type that's shit. Over type with. Shit? Like yeah. I don't ain't no go. Y'all don't understand. No, bitch, we're out of to. there. I'm yeah. out of there. You only got to show me one time. Yeah, and call you me. me. My daddy don't even put his hands on me, so you're definitely not. I don't know nothing you're about that. Yeah. As a man. Mm-hmm. And then I'm this big. You got me fucked up, sir. Mm. That was smooth. That was smooth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. in this case, Sky was the aggressor. And right. if you really look back into the media, and Sky is really not as innocent as she puts For sure, like, for sure. For sure. She had, had her name in some shit before. Of trouble. Like, yeah. seriously. So. I really feel as though she is the problem, and she she need to learn her lesson. Mm. And maybe this was a lesson learned, but girl, especially in public, push him around at home. And if he stay, he fucking stay. But you was in Disney's theme park around no, it, a whole bunch of people, mm-hmm. and you're a celebrity. Like it's not like you're an unknown mm-hmm. bitch that ain't nobody just worried right. about. They just gonna walk past you. Oh, she pushing her man. You're Sky Jackson, girl. You're Hey for Jesse, sure. girl. For and sure. then you 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 act for Disney. Exactly. That's a. That ain't so that you that's you showing you. out. You that showing that's you. like us. All, we, the, we, all we. them child stars fucked up. Yeah. But I, you know, story. most of them been touched on. That's why they got trauma. 
Well, I hope she wasn't one of them ones. I mean, I'm not saying her, but I'm 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 yeah. saying that's true. You gotta think about it, man. When we was growing up, most of the kids who was in that who was in the industry, they didn't. It's been some bullshit going on. Absolutely, you feel what I'm saying? Absolutely, for sure. So, so back okay, back on this subject with Bad Bunny, right? Shout ain't that her name? That motherfucker no, came. Bad baby. Bad baby. Oh, I said Barbie. Baby, I'm that nigga said bad about bunny. He said bad time. bunny. I'm like, like who the f- put their hands on him? Um, uh, so yeah, her. I don't give a fuck about her. That's the bitches I don't give a fuck. You feel me? But it's it's the it's some yeah, shit yeah. like when she the video yes, dropped, she got her ass toe up. Toe up. She got her ass toe turned for. She got beat for old and new. That's how bad it was. You saw it all on the face. You saw it. So let me ask you this: What as a man, you know that that. I'm so, not afraid to give hands e for everyone. Oh no, damn right! What would put you in the mindset oh to want to do something like that? Not saying that you. Dude, I'm. I'm a, <laughs> not saying that you. Okay, okay, okay. The thing, the thing, the the thing is, dog. You gotta have. You gotta have some restraint within yourself, though. Absolutely. Like, okay, yeah, I might, I might get into it. I might argue. You know what I'm saying? We might fuss, but. I'm not about to put my hands on you like that though. Like that's that's a that's another that's, that's another that's different. That's, that's another. I mean, that's I mean that even him and her up because you know sometimes these ladies be the aggressive and sure. then a man just snap for sure. But it's like as a man, him that bitch. You feel me? Because I done been in multiple situations where I done been I could have you know put a motherfucker her. down. You yeah. feel me? Like but, you but know. Just like you, gotta, you, you gotta be you gotta know what's going on. So it's like listen, Absolutely. I'm just gonna grab you and be like, yo, look, watch even, out, watch out. Even watch if out. you knock her loose one good time, Ooh. watch out. You can't be y'all can't be squaring up boxing like this is another <laughs> nigga in the street who just disrespects. We ain't gonna square like, up shit. Cause when I hit you, it's over. <laughs> Everybody come Damn on. Damn those Razor. <laughs> All these motherfuckers, they be out here tussling with their girl. I'm not gonna tussle. I'm gonna tell you sit your ass down. And you gonna sit your ass down, and you better not come over here with all that, all that crazy ass we'll shit. That Cause I'm gonna sit you down. I'm not saying I'm gonna put my hands on you, but that's what that that's what it 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 got, it got to be a line. It got to be a line. You got you got. Don't get me wrong. If you know you going through some bullshit, then then try to leave that shit. Don't try to come out here yeah. and say, oh y'all don't know what's going on, or I love him, or I love her. Y'all, that's that's I'm how a, shit starts. You know, you you know what it is. Motherfuckers don't know how to respect their own boundaries. You feel what I'm saying? So if a motherfucker done cross the line to a certain point and they you keep allowing them to cross that line and you keep getting fed up and then you pop, that's on you because you ain't set that motherfucking boundary that you feel what I'm saying that you gotta stand on. What you I mean knew though? It was like, over with when she said she loved him more than she loved his herself. Mm. That's when that's when everything just threw out the window, and I was like, "Yep, she's gonna be back with him for sure." That not even a week later, for sure that they're popped out out in public, cheesing that paparazzi. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But you know why ain't nobody else talking about it? Cause we we didn't went we went through a whole trial and tribulation run with Blueface and Krishan. The the streets I'm is tied. The streets is tied. <laughs> both of they motherfucking ass locked up, and both of them hey, both of them doing crazy. time. I was just saying this the other day. Where pray like, for the baby. Pray for Christian. It took Jr. them going to jail to for us to unsubscribe from their relationship. I've been unsubscribed. I wasn't even subscribed. No, man. I'm just talking about it's always in your face every time. Yeah, it was oh, always yeah. in your no, face sure. regardless whether Dang. you was checking for them or not. They was it was there. Blue face Krishan, blue for face sure. Krishan. So there. I'm really glad they locked up. Um, well, yeah, I'm glad they're locked up, but I do feel bad for the baby because Man, that, that's probably the best situation. Here. His one his first birthday coming up and both his parents is in jail. Blueface just got sentenced to four years and Krishan is on her second facility. Yeah. Like she's doing her time. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. So, just stop mm-hmm. get out of these abusive situations. Mm-hmm. It is not good. They don't love you. Um if you go back, make sure everything is in private because then you're going to be mad at how people respond to you and then you're going to be mad that nobody's taking you seriously and then you might end up in a ditch somewhere and nobody's checking for you. So and whose let, fault is let that? me let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So at what point at what point do you feel like so just because cuz a lot of a lot of abusive relationships come from somebody cheating or yeah, most most of abusive relationships come from somebody cheating. Somebody only got caught now is you feel me? Now is Damn. boom, boom, boom. Put my hands you on feel me. me. Right. So, what do you advise? Like, just for as a as a as a woman standpoint, like, what do you advise? Like, as a you woman, me? you just have to fuck with yourself more than you fuck with anybody. Like, it's it's as simple as that. Like, 
as a as a just a person in general, you know what you want from somebody or you know what you're expected of. Like you, if you know you're a good person, then you're supposed to expect good from your person. If they not giving you good, then just go on about your business. There's so many motherfucking people. Like, it's billions of people in this world. I'm not finna dwell on one. Right. It's somebody good out here. Mm, for sure. So that's just how I go about it. But I don't know. I ain't playing about no nigga putting their hands on me because... I don't be putting my hands on niggas, and I hate to have to, because mm. I got people who don't play about me. Tight shit. I ain't gonna lie. See what God. I'm saying? See what I'm saying? That's how you. They see I'm. I'm ready. Hey, I'm. Hey, I'm. 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 I don't know. I try and keep people out of that predicament as well. And you can just you can feel it. Like you can feel it. That first sign of aggression, that shit can progress, and that shit is going to progress. Yeah. So when you feel that first red flag, girl, go on about your way, because it is not worth it but at you, all. It's people but, that'll treat you gently. It's people that'll treat you like a newborn baby out this bitch. Don't stick. Don't stick with Mister. He mad, so he gotta hem you up. No. But then you gotta think of it. It's also a side of motherfuckers that that. There's some women that like to take it there to that edge just to see how far they can go. They can and then, go, that's, you know and then that's their fault. That's and their fault. Feel and, it's like, and that's why I was saying where the boundaries, you feel what I'm saying? You got certain certain men that will just let they woman or who they fucking with just walk over them for so long and they finally snap. Snap. And like you 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 mad at her for your decision, but you should be mad at yourself because you ain't stopped it the first time. Because you wasn't a man. You was Uh-oh. Hmm. Type shit. Nuts Clock it. Yeah. So that's what it is. You feel what I'm saying? Speaking of letting your nuts hang, shout out to Team USA. You feel hey. what I'm saying? Olympic hey. run. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I think we top, We had the most medals. USA. Mm -hmm. We yeah. tied with gold. With, with man, fuck China. USA. Which, oh. Fuck them. No. You saw what they doing to Jordan Childs? Mm. That they, ain't got nothing to do with the USA. Yes, the hell it do. That no, that was with the Olympics people and the judges and all that. They don't have nothing. Oh, to do. oh my fuck. <laughs> Like, hey, I'm about to go crazy. I'm about, about to go crazy. I'm about to go crazy on that. No, I'm that, about to go crazy. That is definitely fucked up. But I yeah. can say, because I didn't really keep up with the Olympics this year, for real, for real. I watched basketball more than anything, and I watched some of the gym the gym girlies because they were doing their thing. Right. Um, But Paris really dropped the ball this year. They say it was so much racism going on throughout the whole Olympics, though. Paris oh, yeah. dropped the ball oh, yeah. bad this you year. You feel what I'm saying? Like, between people getting sick in the triathlon to that girl being stripped of her medal because for sure. of their era. They, they, that's their they fucking era. fault. That was their fault. fault. That's their yeah, fucking I mean, fault. Like, it's just, it's been a lot going on. And then yeah. you got, what's the name? Flavor Flav gonna make a goddamn chain. No disrespect, Flavor Flav. I don't want that motherfucker. That I worked hard for that bronze. I don't want no fucking clock. Bro, I've been up in five o'clock. Some shit I can go to Johnny Dang and get. I don't want that. I don't want that. I Johnny, go to Icebox. Johnny Dang ain't serving that shit. Up. That's the shit. That's like some shit. I'm, I can go fucking down my David and get that motherfucking shit. Show can. What the fuck? <laughs> no, I work I hard. The same shit I, I, I bust my out. ass day in and day out, and you telling me you gonna take something for me for your fuck up, man? Y'all better come get this shit and back in so blood. Up because first. I think that was the first all black podium yeah, too, for sure, mm -hmm. for sure. Was all, they was gold, silver, and bronze, but right. you come know on, what? man. Fuck everybody. We know she got that motherfucking yeah. medal. It was still an all black podium. Yeah. We don't give a fuck. Fuck Paris. Mm -hmm. Go USA. Mm -hmm. America. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm going to tell you something. Those was playing that motherfucking basketball, too. Mm. The who? The boys was the, playing oh, that yeah, basketball. Play. Like the Avengers. Let's, let's, let's talk about Lee, Lee, Lee Captain America. But before, before, we, James. before we get Lee done. Lee Captain America, let's talk about how Steph Curry came through Last, um, last ooh, of the third quarter. She been watching. She been watching. He was cooking. With three swishers. Hello. He never touched the rim. Uh. She oh, you like basketball niggas. niggas? She was locked. She like basketball niggas. What? Hold you on, wait a minute. You ain't know. I, oh, I don't see it. You ain't. I, I you ain't. You ain't. Colors. You ain't. Know. She talking about some everybody clear out, go to the ISO. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> now I'm scared. Cause she might beat me. Look, 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 look at, look at, look at, look, uh, look at. I'm scared. I'm look scared at. of you. She said no, three switches ain't touched the net. On a serious note, team who you was watching the game with? My brother. 
Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Shit, okay. That's, that's a, a good answer. answer. That's, a great that's a good answer. answer. That's a great answer. That girl is PR trained. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the comfort of my living room, honey, rubbing uh, my feet together, watching yeah, yeah, the boys yeah. get the fuck off. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah. can say, mm. Paris was definitely doing their thing too. Like, them boys was playing basketball. Oh, like, yeah. it wasn't like it was no devastating ass yeah. loss. It was right. devastating for Lil Wimby, but I still feel as though. <laughs> for Lil Wimby. He should be very proud of himself. Because a lot of niggas is not playing in the Olympics, and you're playing for your home country. And he was. Hooping. I mean, he was he was hooping. hooping. Mm-hmm. So My I don't God. know. I'm just proud of everybody. I'm rooting for everybody black. But I'm gonna tell you something that I hate though. Um because they fucked up with with Jordan. With Jordan. They fucked up with um Shakari and that girl oh, from that Jamaica. Girl was it Jamaica? Well, well, I think she was well, Jamaican. Jamaican, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They didn't let them in to, to warm up. Mm-hmm. So they ran that shit she just left. off the strength. Off the strength. Yeah, she, no, she yes, left. the other one, yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. She, she yeah. You feel me? It. Then it's a video. Um, the police up there was fucking with um Steph Curry's uh wife, little baby, and his mama. The motherfuckers had accidentally hit the baby in the head. Didn't apologize to the baby. Didn't apologize to the wife or the mama. Nothing. I swear to God, Draymond Green had to step in and oh, try to and, 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 and try to mediate, he he try to like, mediate the situation. But it's a simple fact that, like, damn, we over here for some Olympic shit, yeah. and y'all letting all this shit still transpire, transpire for for fucking what though? Paris dropped the ball, and we don't never need to go back there ever. You feel again me? In yeah. life. So, so that's why they come. That's why they coming to United States. Mm-hmm. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? You think so? Yeah, yeah uh, 2028. They're going to be in L.A. Oh, mm. yeah. We're going to have to go to the Olympics. Yeah. But I just feel like how it's so up. fucked up. You feel me? It's I very fucked up. Yeah. Are we going to be there? We're going to be there. We manifesting. Twack and Phil, you see them women. I do want to see them in eight. They was doing eight. Shout out Shakira Richardson. She won a silver medal. Her first gold medal. You feel what I'm saying? And you be all the odds, too, girl. You be all the odds, too. So shout out to you. And also, I want to say, um, Noah Lyles is a bitch. Um, <laughs> you did all that yapping, world champion or what, and didn't win shit, but... But said you had runs. COVID. But but the nigga came out and said he had COVID. Two days later, the motherfucker out of the club turned up. Turned Man, up. you can kiss my ass, bro. You feel me? You kiss my ass. And then you gonna hate on Anthony Edwards. You gonna hate on Anthony Edwards. Mm. You didn't come to the Adidas, uh, to the oh, Adidas yeah. release another shoe. And you, you and your feelings, now you got your ass dropped by Adidas. Mm. Shut the fuck up, man. Mm. Shut the you fuck up, man. That? Well, maybe maybe Dwayne Wade will pick him up with his with his nail care line. <sighs> D Wade was killing me on um, uh with his <laughs> his pronouns are he slash him. When one door what closed, another one open. Okay. That's the wrong door. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 that's like a Diddy door. We don't want that. <laughs> Yeah, well, what that though? Up. Close that. You got to tell him no. Ask you if you want to party. Uh uh-uh. uh. I go through mm-hmm. the back though. I go. Through, <laughs> I go through the back though. I'm okay. I don't want you know that what? one. And also, let's talk about how during all of this, Snoop Dogg capitalized mm-hmm. off of nine mil. Snoop getting nine. Just being, M's. just being a part of the Olympics. Just being there. Just spanning on the right. camera, dancing every once in a while. This Fact. man got mm-hmm. now. This was mm-hmm. I will say. I will say I am happy for Snoop for the opportunity and the shine that he's getting. But I also think that um, the Olympic athletes' prices in the United States need to go up. For you sure. Can we get paid they're, the less? They're getting paid oh, 67000 yeah. for yeah. a gold medal. Yeah. And about, you got other countries getting paid 600000 Let's talk about mm-hmm. how Flavor Flav also had offered to pay that girl's, uh, what was it, either tuition, her rent, something. He did. An Olympic he, he, he did. Yeah. He, paid, he paid for somebody's uh, tuition or it was tuition it was and rent. Some money she needed yeah. to live yeah, he paid, as yeah. an Olympic athlete. And they mm-hmm. only get like, what, 35000 you said? Yeah, for that's for bronze and 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 shout that's out. It's like sixty seven for gold. And shout out to Shannon and shout out to Ocho because they paid motherfuckers who won a gold medal and broke a record type shit. Mm, so they added man, on what another fifty k. They added on another fifty k. And Period. I think in total, I think in total they end up paying out over two hundred thousand. Mm. To, 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 to motherfuckers who won. Shout out to you. Feel what I'm saying? This and, is for and the that's niggas. The, that's Strictly the for the niggas. <laughs> This is for the niggas. The real niggas. The real niggas. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, got- wait. You lost me. I lost <laughs> you. He said, what did he say? You lost me. 
Man, that's but that's the unity I like to see. Yeah, from, for from sure. Us. They definitely came mm-hmm. through. They didn't have no. I feel as though black people didn't have no choice but to come through for the black people this year because they was really trying to give us the shit in of the stick. No, like, real talk. We don't really be running the the strong leg of these athletic events, mm-hmm. but that's neither here nor there. Facts. Mm. So, um, if y'all don't know, get that bread. Hello. Get their head. Mm. Then leave. Peace out. Peace out. Fuck. Long live him. Um, he passed away. The beat king passed away the other day. It was um, just such a shot out of nowhere. Surprising. Really it was out of out of the and blue. You know what was out crazy? of the blue. I didn't even know who it was until like then they started posting like the slides of his music, and I was yeah. like, oh him, because mm-hmm. I had never seen him yeah, before. His face but yeah, hard. that's like that's really crazy because he definitely had some hits under his belt, and he ran the summer for a long time. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And then he you really me? he really helped shape Houston's music. Like. And he was so young. A pulmonary embolism is like insane. Like mm-hmm. health is wealth, y'all, and we gotta start taking care of ourselves seriously. Mm-hmm. Go to y'all annual checkups. I don't care how sus they may be, but some things are really like for your better good. Nah, and everybody sure. needs to check on themselves. We is too young to be falling out like this. Seriously. Real talk. Real talk. That's all I got to say. You lying? That's you all I got to say. You lying. But rest in peace definitely... to him. Condolences to his family. Condolences to his friends. Mm-hmm. Really, really sad situation. He touched the ears of many. He really turned the girls up. To all the bops. I know y'all hurt. Why we had... <laughs> you see how she put herself in that conversation. <laughs> no, I, I, saying, I ain't like, say nothing. Why we had to go there? I ain't say nothing, huh? Why we had to go there. I was trying to keep it so. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you said you send the message out to the family. My fault, my fault, my fault. Fuck. But for real, we're just gonna clip that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that shit, right, it was out the, it was just it out was, the blue, it was bro. Very, yeah, out it the was blue, very, it was. That, that just shows how you got cherish every day. Yeah, every day. You feel what I'm saying? Cause you never know when your time up. Say he passed out at a hosting or something. I think mm. that's what they said. Right. And they rushed him to the hospital, but he was already, or either he passed. I think he might have passed in the hospital because they say he was surrounded by his kids. So I'm not yeah. sure, but he passed out at whatever hosting he was at, mm. and they rushed him to the hospital. Damn. Mm. God damn. Yeah, that's one crazy. thing about life. That's life, scary. life, and that's why I tell motherfuckers, y'all, you you gotta do this shit. For sure, you gotta do this shit. And when you do it, you got to do it to the fullest. You got to do this shit with no regrets. Because you'll never know when you wake up and then you don't wake up. Wake up dead. Oh, my God. Is you really waking up if you're dead? Though? Oh my you waking up on the other side. Oh. What side is that? Heaven, It depends on how you live. <laughs> what side is that? It depends on how you live. What side is that? With yeah. my God, hopefully. Mm. My, my man. My God. Let's take a shot to be I ain't gonna be, nope. I'm going to be for real with y'all. It ain't a lot of Let's people. Let's take a shot mm. to be Let's be Let's take a shot to the beat king. Rest Long in live. paradise, my guy. Long live. Cheers. Long live. Long live. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So um let's get into um this uh Fuck. Mark Rubin on uh on black culture. Right. Um pull the video up. It's a video. I got the video. I got the yeah. video. The thing I don't like about that is it doesn't bother me for me, it bothers me that it actually, when I see the narrative of a really good friend of mine like Meek, and people are trying to, you know, again, if he was gay, which there's not one gay bone in his body, who cares, number one? Let's say, if people want to be gay, it is 2024, who the fuck cares, okay? Number two, there's not a gay bone in his body, so like, why do people want to lie about that? Why do people want to change a narrative of a bet he made with me mm-hmm. to try to hurt him? Like, that is the one thing I've learned about, you know, look, I'm just being blunt because it's me. So one thing I've learned about black culture that I don't like is that black hate on hate. Speak on that more. I heard you say that earlier, and I wanted you to expound on that. You said yeah. you don't like to see black people tearing down other black people. Yeah, it's horrible. Like, okay. why, like it's horrible. Like, why, like I want to support every... Look, you got two of you guys know me pretty well. Mm-hmm. Anything I can ever help with, I'm always there. Mm-hmm. I always want to be helpful. I feel lucky and fortunate to do what I do every day. To be as, you know, whatever success I've had, I feel blessed to do that. And I want to give back in every way I can. You know, in business and in charitable things, I'm always trying to be helpful. Like... Why does someone want to bring somebody else down? Let's try to build everybody up. Like, you know, I, I'd be more excited if, you know, if I'd be more excited to see one of my friends do something that's 99% less meaningful to me 
but it would be really meaningful to them because I want them to do great. I want everyone around mm. me to do great. Mm. I don't like watching, you know, there's a little bit, and you tell me, you guys correct me if you think I'm wrong. I think there's a little bit of a black culture of like, it's black hate on hate. It's like that black judge that Meek had that hated on him and wanted to put in, go extra hard on him, okay? It's like, I like it's what people always say to me. <clears throat> I understand what he's saying. Right message, uh, wrong messenger. Right. Maybe. Right. And it, what he said is true for most, a majority of what he's saying. Mm -hmm. But what he not taking into account is the the history of Where the government, the, the government putting a imprint to break up families and pit uh, motherfuckers against each other. What you mean? Like it's systemic. It's, a, it's systemic. It's systemic racism. I, I hate to come keep coming back to, but that's what it is. To a point where it's now is everybody in our culture is so desensitized because they started to you know break up families. Crack in the eighties. Uh, this is when they breaking up fathers, getting fathers out the home. Where you know what I'm saying it's, and it's also a crab, a crab mentality. You feel what I'm saying? Where if I'm not doing something and somebody else doing something. I'm envious instead of trying to go get help because everyone's so misindependent instead of being together like other coaches have been. But other coaches haven't had outsiders try and break them up because they're scared of what they can't be together. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. I'm not mad at what Mark said. I just hate that it's always not a skin folk that's telling us about us. I really wish that we would become a little bit more intellectual ourselves and be able to sit down and have these conversations with ourselves and not have to hear it from the white man. I really wish, because that's back to that systemic shit again, because Mark, shut the fuck up. This ain't got nothing to do with you, baby. Thank you. Let's take heed of what Mark said, because Mark didn't lie once again. But Mark, please, because it's more than just us that's against us. Way so, more. I, I feel and like meat is. Never mind. Never mind. I love you, Daddy. Okay, <laughs> let's not forget this man said that. That, that, like, that, that what Daddy said. We're not mad that Meek is gay. It's just Meek is not being who <laughs> he is. Dreams for his and nightmares, Mister Dreams and Nightmares. I didn't That's, expect that from him. One That's thing about niggas, niggas are really closed minded when it comes to sexuality, and I know that. But I do know also that niggas are more respectful of a motherfucker who's who who they are for their pride rather mm. than somebody who knows they what they are but is trying to not be who they are mm. that's what it is you definitely hear it's just more head. respected when you are who you are for your pride like it's okay to like boys me. so <laughs> we love you let me let me chime in on what you just said okay. like i i can you can you really put that on the government though? Like, yes. I don't. I don't. I see. I'm, I'm so when I say put it on the government, I can to a certain extent. You feel what I'm saying? That's where it started. Now it's put in motion. You have to think for yourself. Where motherfuckers ain't they still bought into that mentality instead of thinking outside themselves and learning about the shit. That's where I will say it's not all on the government. That's where it started, but. Where we at now, motherfuckers don't care enough to get outside of themselves and learn what the fuck going on. They, I know every everything high, life high. You feel what I'm saying? My motherfuckers get so wrapped up in their own selves that they don't see what the fuck going on around them. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm 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 not I'm I feel what you're saying, but I'm not gonna put that on the government as to like why black people hate on black people though. Okay. Don't get me wrong, yeah, yeah. Back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, with the whole. I feel so you can because you, they instilled us with that self-hatred of ourselves. So if we hate ourselves, why the fuck would we like other ones? That's, that's, see, it, you can, like he just said, though, you can only say that to a certain extent. You can only say that to a certain extent. Because you got to, okay, let me paint the picture. Okay. You see what's going on? Like back in the day, yo, it was a lot. Of, everybody know there was slavery. You had, you had crack. Jim you Crow. had fucking all, all you had all kind of shit that was unimaginable that was that was going that was going on that shit that went folks on. Still ain't paid, folks. Still ain't paid. But hello, a lot of motherfuckers that just have jealousy on another person isn't because of the government though. That's really because they're just that's just jealousy though. Right. Sometimes you really just got to put on straight jealousy. But let me ask you this, right? Where does that jealousy come from? It come from 
They From them not having enough. That childhood. That childhood. No, at home. no, no. Every, Hell no. Every, every, every person, the way they are is because of their childhood. Whether they, they realize it or not. How they grew up is shaped you to the person that you have. For sure. Today. Always. And what I'm saying is when you have that outside force that's pitting, that's that's putting a, a, a wedge in between your family and it's fucking them how you But what's up, what's that wedge? What's that wedge? What's that wedge though? What's that wedge though? Okay, let me okay. Light skin versus dark skin. You think that started with black people? You think black people started that? Nope. That was the house girl? niggas and field niggas. They put that so now every time you see, oh, I want a dark skin. I don't like dark skin. I don't want and, and at the end of the day, you all black. It's diff it's different things throughout history where it's it's, it's just been a tax it's to the to to, to the the, fa the black family. And then it's niggas. Like it was plenty of light skinned people who was white pads and they used that to the best of their abilities and they made it far. But as far as darkies, we was getting ridiculed, dolls made fun of, cartoons made fun of. And then, you know, you still, till this day, where, like, you got kids that's in school for having locks and getting suspended, yeah, expelled suspended for that. And now. Jobs. Okay, but see, I. Okay. And, things, okay, but. Can, you can be fired just because they're black and they don't okay, like Okay, I, 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 under, I understand. I understand. I understand all of that. Right. But what I'm saying is, so I feel like y'all trying to. Let me tell you. Strict, hold on, though. I want to put it like Hold on, though. I feel like y'all. I, I hear you. I, I hear both of y'all. Right. And I'm, I'm picking up what y'all putting down. But I feel like y'all mainly trying to put that shit on the government. When in reality, yeah, the government did some fucked up ass shit in this world. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to yourself and the accountability that you hold. If you out here hating on the next man just because he got more than you, that ain't got shit to do with the government, bro. That ain't got shit to do with the government. You got niggas out here nowadays that's dumb as fuck and that's crash out niggas. They'll see you with a car. They ain't got no car. They walking. You know what? They mad. They want your shit. That ain't got shit to do with the government. That ain't got shit to do with how they was raised. That ain't got shit to do with how they was raised. That's just off the simple fact that they don't got shit because they didn't make nothing with what they what they could have and what they should have had. That ain't so that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Right. I, so right. I feel like, yeah, you can. You can put that shit on, you can put it to a certain extent because, like I say, the government has did a lot of shit when it comes down to a lot of oppression right. within the world. But in the end, in, in actual reality, that shit comes back on ourselves. We can't blame nobody for that bullshit but ourselves. Fuck the government. Absolutely. Fuck everybody else. Fuck what everybody else got going on. We can't blame nobody but ourselves at the end of the day. Right. And I agree with that. And that's what I, I felt like I was saying where it comes from that ignorance of being so self-absorbed in yourself and and I understand how you saying where it's the man that's hating he he ain't got no car he mad at he mad at the next man that got a car uh, you don't think that come from a jealous household of a motherfucker that uh oh mm. mama always that's what I'm saying but you can't you can't that, I'm not you can't I'm, put, but, you can't, you can't, put you can't put that on that household because listen we we didn't went to school with niggas who didn't had everything we went to school with niggas who had everything under the sun I, I when I went to school I didn't have all that shit, but niggas will still hate on me just because of who I am. Yeah. So that ain't got shit. That's what I'm saying. You you got you got to read you got to read the fine print of a certain shit right. because some of these motherfuckers had shit growing up. They had everything growing up for sure. A nigga like me didn't have everything growing up, but I'm not out here hating on another another motherfucker. We I, me and mama was broke plenty of times. It was hard as fuck growing up, but. At the end of the day, I'm I'm not out here jealous or I'm not envy because of another man. That's what that's what I mean when I say that that shit comes back to who you are though. You were raised by a strong woman who wasn't an envious spirit. A lot of people can't say that. A lot of people are still holding on to generational curses and trauma from way, way back when. Exactly. So you you that, proving like, my point though. That that comes back to you. You holding on to that shit from back in the day that ain't got nothing to do with you. That has not, sometimes you're born like that, like you're just your brain is altered, your chemicals is altered to the point where you're born born with it like this so, is a study on this it's, it's african american study classes and this is has this has been proven that black people still suffer from the traumas and the weight of slavery and that shit was a hundred years ago right a lot For of people so don't overcome that it's it's black people now trying to break those curses and those traumas and become something better and something new as the generations progress right. but that's not for everybody so right, right. so you say so you say 
So you say it's a study that black people what said again? Yeah? Black people still is affected and still carries for sure, for on sure. that trauma. For sure. Whether it's secondhand, it ain't got nothing to do with them. Your ancestors okay. might not even been a slave, but you're black okay. in America. For sure. And you going to always, just because of the simple fact that you are black, you going you gonna to deal, you going to deal with some type of bullshit. You going to deal with some type of bullshit just because the, the color of your skin. So let me ask you this. But since we, we established that the the history of our people from slavery, right, and how that still affects us, do you not think, <clears throat> damn, you, you have, lost it. What? It was right there. And then uh, but do you not think that, <clears throat> fuck, I hate when that happens. Damn, go ahead, bro, my bad. Do I not, do I not think that that's a what, like, that that doesn't like. <laughs> I forgot, bro. That's the reason why niggas be hating on niggas. That, it came back. That does. Do you not think that that plays a part in us as black uh, culture being de- desensitized to the violence and and everything else in the world? Like you go on Twitter when something bad happened, it's joke city because what the fuck else bad can happen when you done seen the worst of everything? You feel what I'm saying? Okay. To where. You see somebody get shot. That that woman that just got shot holding the pot, right? Mm. It's it, it, it's a it's another video online that we done seen because we done seen so many of it. You okay. just sensitized to the point where it's like, damn, it's just a it's another day. You 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 see you you train to okay, some people to, might to, think to think and move a certain way. Else not saying us, that. So like, not saying what that. What the fuck else we supposed to do? Right. Not saying that you don't have. It's not. It, it, it's always your responsibility to learn and grow from those things and try and break those curses. But, but when you know. have, there are a lot of people that are in our generation that are breaking generational curses from their families. They don't have no support of their family, and they being black sheep. So it's like, damn, you look everybody mad at you for trying to do something with your life because they don't know what else to do with their lives because they never seen nobody do some shit with their okay, lives. So that's on life. them. That's on them. That's correct? on them. Okay then. Okay, but if you and your family, right? Okay, let's say you and your cousins, right? And all of them, and all of them ain't, ain't, they just, they just been, you feel what I'm saying? Just done struggle, right? You done struggle, okay. and you ain't never seen nothing else but struggle. And you like, damn, this is what life is. This I, this is my life. This is how I always live. This is how it always is. Not knowing that there's more to life, you feel what I'm saying? And that's why I'm saying the ignorance of not learning outside of yourself and what the fuck you been in, you feel what I'm saying? So you telling me like, okay, summarize that shit. Summarize what I'm saying is all your you and your people, right? Okay. Y'all done grew up together, For struggling, sure. right? For sure. You do something that's different. Okay. You doing a podcast. Okay. Motherfuckers, just everybody's doing podcasts now, but it wasn't that when we first started, correct? Okay, yeah, I, so I feel what you're saying. When they seeing you doing this, they like, man, that shit. When we first started, right or wrong, motherfuckers was looking at our shit like, man, that shit ain't gonna last long. Because they never seen nobody from us on where we from do what we're doing. So they're like, damn, that's 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 weird. It's different. And it's not gonna be nothing because I've never seen nobody look like me that does that. So now you're being you're being you're getting all this hate. Because they never seen that. So you're okay. the first person to do it. And you showing them like, damn, I can't do that. Okay. If I put if I can't, if I, I can go see something online and do something that they doing that right. I've never seen before, because I've been programmed all my life that this is what life is. You go to school, get a high school diploma, hopefully. You get you a job, a nine to five, and that's how you live. You you work until you die. And you might have a you might have a social security. Or you might not. You just never know. But that's just which you have been mm-hmm. trained so long because you've seen your parents. How many times have we seen we don't see a lot of black love or marriages because we've never even been to a marriage in the family. Some families have never been to a marriage where they like. So what they got to do with the government though? What I'm saying is you're you're if you've been trained and you've been fractured from one point, right? It's a it's a butterfly domino effect, right? Okay. If you if you flip one domino down here and that motherfucker keep going, right? Until you like damn. I can move out the way. Mm-hmm. Until the first person move out the way, we be like, damn, mm-hmm. you can move out the way? So, so That shit keep falling. Right, so I'm, I'm about to double down on what you just said because I feel like you still proving what I'm saying, bro. You saying that some people break the generational curses, right? Right. Okay, so they took it upon themselves right. to go want to be something, right? Right. While everybody else did what? They still where the hell they was. So at. that's on them. That's, that's what I'm saying them. when I say Absolutely. you can't. I'm 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 not I'm not saying that y'all are wrong when I say the government puts us through bullshit because we're gonna always go through some shit. But 
when when it when it comes down to it, it comes down to you just hating on another person because you didn't do nothing with yourself. Absolutely. That's what that comes down to. I'm not going to put all, all yeah. I'm saying is I'm not going to put all the blame on what the government doing. Fuck them. And, and I feel like we we really on the same wavelength. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just saying this is where it started and this is the effect that it's showing where you're saying is you have seen what didn't happen in the past. Now it's time to pull your big pants on and, and do you but, and, and learn more but outside see, of yourself. But, but see, that's 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 the problem, though. That's the problem, though. Like, cause like you just said, it's people. Not it's people. It's mo- motherfuckers that went through. Yeah, they they done went. They yo, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> it sound a little bit better, don't it? Right. So you feel what I'm saying? So so you got these motherfuckers that then. That's still holding on Right To old shit To old testaments Right But Then again It's that drill culture too But you feel what I'm saying Cause then again that came from That's on y'all bro Right Cause that, I'm that I'm gonna I'm I'm be real I'm gonna be real I'm gonna be real Yeah slavery All that shit was terrible It was bad And I hate that shit happened for the, for the culture Right but at the end of the day, when are you gonna learn to let go and and, and, and still live? Because it, right. it don't it don't it, pay us. it don't matter it it don't matter how far you make it in life or how successful you are in life. You gonna deal with some bullshit every motherfucking day, right? Every motherfucking day. But that's just that, that. Okay, boom. That's for instance. That's like that's like if you go outside every day, a motherfucker, you broke, you ain't got no job. You, is is you is you going? That's like if if you take that chance and you keep at trying to go find jobs, or you just say fuck it, I ain't gonna do this shit no more. We seen that movie with Will Smith. What the fuck that movie is? Oh, uh, that sad ass movie. Oh, with the uh, with the kid. Pursuit of happiness. Pursuit of happiness. Broke as hell. Down on his dick. He could have gave up like a motherfucker. He right. could have been. He could have been stuck in his ways. And gave. He could have. He could have been stuck in his ways and still been stuck in the ways of of the Old Testament. Right. right? But what did he do? He kept going. He kept going. And next thing you know, he got a job. Right. So that's what I mean when I say a lot of this shit yeah. that happens upon us is on us. Right. Now. You I, feel what I'm saying? Because right. w- what what another motherfucker do, I'm not going to let that shit dict- dictate my future unless, I, unless he shoot me and I'm dead and gone. Right. Now, let me ask you this, because I understand what you're saying, so it, 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 it depends on you. But now let me th- think about it like this, right? You have companies, record labels that are pushing more drug sets, twerking all this shit on the youth and through they different artists that are being pushed that people listen to consume every day. Is that not also the parents fault to, to, to stop playing that music for their kids when it's everywhere? Pornography is everywhere. And it's in it, it does that does not it does not contribute to the to the to the government fucking kids up to her thinking that shit is okay. That ain't got nothing to do with the, that ain't got nothing to do with the government, bro. That's so, all that's all these niggas going to the studio and making that fucking music, bro. What? They that, got, no, no, no. no I bro, understand. Me and you are Listen, both artists. Me and you are both artists. artists. You got niggas that. what 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 is J. Cole preaching? J. Cole ain't preaching that. It depends on who you are, who, what kind of message you want to put out, bro. Correct. The rec- them record so labels, so the rec- don't record labels any, ain't, the record don't labels ain't coming. To- any industry plants out there that are, that are placed in Of course, in, in it's, those it, but it's always to, industry to, plants. To push different agendas. Come on. Agendas? It's, it's, all, it's always, I'm not even going to say an industry plant, but how I'm aware of it is, it's always people out there with their own agenda to push their own agenda. Right. So what I'm saying is, like I said, you you got you got artists out here that don't push nothing like that. Right. They're not pushing that shit. They could. They could have every right in they in they book. If they wanted to talk about that shit, they could. But they're not. And so you know it depends on it depends on who putting that shit out there. But why you they know not? Why they not? Why they not? Because everybody not everybody not gravitating to good music instead of bad music. Okay, I mean, so you proving my point. What I'm saying earlier. It all comes back to you. That call comes back to you. Okay. That all come back. What the hell you want to put on the radio? That come back to you, but you also have motherfuckers that are that are the younger generation that okay. are playing these shits around their kids and wondering why they um six seven year old is out here twerking, but it's not. Okay. But that's the music that's that's being pushed and gravitating right. to to radios, TikTok. Instagram, social media, where that's being pushed out on you right, but more see, than how many? Okay, how many times you turn on the news and it have been a good story? I feel what you're saying about what's being pushed out. Right. I, I I feel that because they pushing it out and the motherfuckers is accepting it, eating it, and up. I feel that. But still to this day, bro, I nigga, I, I grew up listening to Boosie. I grew up listening to Ti. You don't see me out here going to jail for them motherfucking murder charges. 
for no drug charges. That's what I'm saying when it all boils down to who you are. What you decide to take in, what you don't decide to take in. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's how that's that's just, that's just, it's like the same phrase like damn. Okay, that's like boom, you tell your girl, damn, all, all your friends, all your friends hoes. So what you doing? You out there hoeing? She gonna no, that ain't got nothing to do with me. It all depends on who you are and what the fuck kind of shit you want to put out and what the fuck you t- type of shit you want to take in to yourself. Okay. That's all that is, bro. So since we're on the topic of music, Tyler the Creator also did an interview on hip hop where he felt as though that everybody is like copy and paste of each other. He feel as though mm, for sure. what we used to listen to back in the day, everybody was their own, their own sound, their own person. And it's like nowadays, everybody is sounding like them cosplaying, as he said, they're mm-hmm. cosplaying as right. something else, as another person. Yeah, you yeah. play the video. And like, I don't like that. But do you get satisfied? And these niggas can't perform. Nobody can. All these niggas dress alike. Man, yeah. you go to 19, you go to 2003. Jay didn't sound like T.I., who didn't sound like 50. Pharrell didn't sound like Dre, who ain't sound like fucking Quick, who ain't sound like Ye or just Blaze or Alchemist. Eminem didn't sound like fucking Jill Scott. Jill Scott wasn't trying to sound like Julian from the fucking Strokes. Everyone was them fucking sell. Now, like, everyone is doing cosplay. It's a Spider-Man meme of, like, the next nigga. Everyone uses the same slang. Nigga, you are from L.A. and you saying slime? Yeah, exactly. You don't. We don't sure. say that. It's crazy how we don't say that. We don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but not for real. And I feel as though they has a, another thing to do with with the black culture and well, whatever Mark Rubin was saying. He has a major too. point, like, though. Yeah. I feel as though a lot of these people are like capitalizing off of this drill and sounding like the next man. For sure. And putting this negative into the community. Now, don't get me wrong. I love a little trap rap, honey. Do you hear me? But, like, I feel as though sometimes you got to change your palate up, like, because the things that you put into yourself definitely affects you and your mood and how you go about things. And if you're constantly listening to that drill, baby, you're drill. Like, you're one of them young niggas we got to look out for. Like, it's okay. Throw a little Keisha in the mix. Throw a little fancy. Throw a little feel good. Throw a little Tennessee whiskey in there. (laughs) It's okay. It's okay to be... Yeah. For sure. Like relax. For everybody sure. don't yeah. be everybody I feel I want everybody to be themselves. And I feel as though that's why as of twenty twenty four I've had such a big disconnect in music because everything is sounding the fucking same. For sure. And I am over it. Like yeah. it's it's no more other topics to talk about but bitches and fucking and, and jewels and and this, that and the fourth. Like we can't talk about Putting shit into the community. I mean, even Tupac was a little rough, but he used to tell us some some real shit back in the day. Do you hear me? Like these niggas right. not even telling us stories no more. Yeah. They ain't no, got no story to tell. There's no subject mm-hmm. no more. It's just fucking I, these hoes. Yeah, going outside drinking liquor. And I also think what killing plays niggas into the hip hop scene boom, boom. now is fuck your mama. Is the lifestyle. Motherfuckers just want the lifestyle <laughs> over bong. actually liking to make music. So motherfuckers yeah. don't actually like making music. They do it because they just do it because of the thrill. Because of the thrill. It's going to get me paid. It's going to get the bitches I want to see. It's going to it's gonna let me um, pay the bills that I, money that I didn't have before. And so they like, damn. And that's those agendas well, too. You fit agenda. So it's like, damn, okay. He started rapping. Okay, he ain't really rapping about shit. He got a little one, two, uh, uh, uh. I could do that. Let me let me hop in this and see what I can do. And then you fuck around, boom, you blow up. Now you in a scene where you not actually, you don't actually love this shit, but it's paying your bills. It's These folks your bills. is getting famous off of samples. Oh my god! Of of just rewriting what somebody else wrote. Yeah. And this and they're just taking off from there, and then we're so surprised as to their their stumping growth right. as an artist. Can you can we also blame us too? Because the consumer also is how many times have we seen artists try different shit or just trying different lanes to explain with their voice and they be like, uh uh-uh, uh, I don't like that. Go back to what you're doing. They bashing you, bashing you, bashing you. And then at the same time you 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 stay with the same flow. People mad at the baby. He stay at the same flow. People mad at him like, oh change it up. But if you change it up, you like, oh I ain't fuck with him no more. So it's like He just ain't good. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn, I ain't gonna say that. Oh my god! He ain't good. Well, 
I think he did pretty good on his freestyles. Cause see, I I fell off of the baby too because it started sounding repetitive. But I'm not gonna say he's not good. Right. His it's old shit will forever be good, but this no, it, no, I don't know. No, exactly. You don't know. Mm-hmm. Back then, you was for certain. Oh yeah, cut that baby on. Yeah. What you doing? What you... See, I feel as though cut some boss man on growing. or something. Right? And even still, then boss man sounds the same just about in everything he drops. But it's, it's hard. hard it's hard. But he, he, tell, he telling his story thing though. We said with the baby. So when is boss man gonna dry up? Boss years. man not gonna dry he, up. He, he he on the two year run. That's boss how, man that's not gonna every run is. Boss man not gonna dry up. Boss man is boss man doing not the drying same up. Thing the baby was doing. But he got his own. He got his own. See see see. Listen. He boss man making music. Slow, boss man thing. making every music for the, the for for the real it's niggas who out here trapping and, and out here hustling. He ain't out here just talking about fucking bitches and robbing niggas and all that. But he talk, he he telling his life Make about Florida niggas. Jackson. That that what he's saying is, a, is 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 describing Florida niggas. That's why he will forever be relevant because he tell he telling how the fuck it is. He telling you what's going on. He Mister Beat the Road. He he telling you what's going on. <laughs> he's Mister Pot Scraper. You feel what I'm saying? He's Mr. He Angle. he describing another. he now he's he's Phil the, like how you had how you had Ti back in the day. Ti when Ti was. Was rapping. He was rapping a lot of niggas' stories that that had the same kind of story as him growing up in the A. Growing up in the A. He was telling you how it was. That's how he doing. He telling you how it is. How it is in Florida. He telling you what the fuck going on. Besides Ti's voice, Ti sounded different in his songs. Like but because he he could switch up his flow. He could switch up his flow. But I'm just I'm I'm just saying as far as like the story part. That's all I'm saying. But he had different flows. He could switch that bitch up. I ain't gonna lie. Boss man did a song with Sierra, (laughs) y'all. I heard it. I heard it. It was cool, but I ain't finished listening to it. Sierra threw me off. But boss man, that is very major. You did a song with fucking Sierra, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all talking about so he gonna dry up. Y'all niggas crazy, man. Y'all niggas crazier than I thought y'all were. What's the name? Did a, the baby did a song with Nicki Minaj. The baby or little baby? Which one you talking baby. about? He did a song but with Nicki Minaj. You, we know why. We know why his career went the way it went. He said he said that uh, element of peace shit when yeah, he was performing. Right. What you shouldn't have said. Now he trying to make a comeback. And he was slapping everybody. Exactly. And and and, and shooting niggas and shit. That's why yeah, his career. Went the way when he, it when he was shooting, when he was shooting people, his his career was at the height. Yeah, that ain't, and, that ain't, and it kept going. That ain't what canceling. That's what, what canceling. And, and that's and, that and ain't that's, what canceling. We not but exactly, but we're talking about the black culture okay. as a whole in music. Where if you kill somebody, you take somebody's life in self defense, which it was. Mm-hmm. You get more credit for that. But if you say something bad, which I don't condone him saying because he shouldn't have said the shit. It'll do less. It'll do more harm to your career than you killing somebody. What fucking sense does that make? But where, the thing about it is, where we lack it, them elemental peas stick together, together, and that's where we lack as niggas. How many times we jump shit and we like, nah, I just can't fuck with it no more because they just doing too much. Often, a lot. I don't be mean. So that's I'm why I told y'all like all for the niggas. Black power, <laughs> but y'all just be so aggravating, dog. It be tripping, and that's why I just said earlier, it be you. That ain't got what they just say. It ain't got shit to do with the government. What they just said ain't got shit to do with the government. Right. That got shit to do with you. That got shit to do with you within you. And what else you need to do within yourself? Tell them. Like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely. Make sure y'all go follow every all the Instagrams in the description. Come Make on. sure y'all go follow Discords. After hours, situation room, and I'll many love. more to be. Man, follow the whole, the whole, the whole, the, the, the whole shebang. Stay Zilla TV on YouTube. That's what y'all need to be chimed in to the whole Subscribe motherfucking the channel. channel. The whole Hello. channel. Hello. Make sure y'all go follow us on IG. Make sure y'all stream and wreak havoc when you can. Let them have it. And fuck it. You know, October around the corner. Mm-hmm. Mm.